Alright, hey y'all. So, uh, basically, we're going to be doing some planting and some stuff like that today. We've got a couple of different grow beds going. Um, the growing season is a lot shorter up here, so we're a lot later getting stuff in the ground. So our season will probably go um, from now until probably about September, maybe if we're lucky, October. Um, kind of depends. Um, yes, hello cat. I guess, um, you want it to be in on the action too. Which is fine. So, um, that's kind of what we've got going on. We're going to be planting some, uh, pecan sticks. I refer to them as sticks because it's, um, basically bare root. Uh, so it's basically a stick with roots. No leaves, no nothing. So, uh, so yeah, let's get started. So, as you can kind of see, they're basically sticks with a little bit of roots. Um, so yeah, let's get started here. A <clears throat> little bit of root stimulator in. Not a whole lot. We're on to the next one. So we put the fiberglass sticks so that we would know what's where. All right. Dig out this hole a little bit. Again, we will put just a little bit of root stimulator in. We will go on to the next site. So, and the cats are being idiots. know how many of these are going to take, but in case I didn't say it before, 
These are pecan tree stars. Growing up in North Carolina, I loved having pecan trees. My grandmother had one on her property and it wasn't fall until we did pecan picking. You used to get about eight paper grocery store sacks. It's great. takes care of that. So, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do some starts for some mint. And this is kind of a cool trick. Um, a lot of people don't know that you can propagate mint like this. And uh, we're probably going <clears> to <throat> have an assistant because baby boy has to be in the middle of everything. So, first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take a pair of pretty clean, not surgical clean, but clean snips. And we're gonna go over here and we are going to Clip off a couple branches of one of the mint plants. So, so if you look, what we'll do, we're going to go fairly low. So we got one. Let's see Two. This one looks pretty good. Pretty good and healthy. Three. So we got three of them. So these are pretty healthy, actually. And, uh... So mint is something that can actually be grown year-round. And you will have to pardon the cat's various bowls around. But, um... Let me try to... Okay, so what we're gonna do. Move, baby boy. Baby boy. <laughs> what did I tell you? You can't be in every shot. So go. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we are going to pick off. Come on, guys. Uh, never work with animals and people or kids. Is that what they say? What all the snotty actors say? So you just run your fingers up 
and then you have the rest. So, these are, go baby boy, um, bottles, come on, come on, go, go, okay, <laughs> try this again, so you take your fingers, you run them down to get the leaves off, you have the stump, these are basically, you two go, um, lemonade, bottles, um, simply juice or something like that, uh, cut the top off, net cups, a lot of your garden centers will carry them, as well as your, um, aquaponic stores, hydroponic stores, things of that nature. So, what you're going to do is you are going to, there's bigger holes at the bottom, you are going to take and run your stem through. Go away, cat. Jeez, go. And then just set it in there. So again, take your leaves, run them down, your bare root or your bare stem, Go through. And it's okay if you skin a little bit of the branch. Come on, cat, really? You guys are making this impossible. So, this is really easy. And you can get, you know, a couple good size plants and you can really uh, propagate mint fairly quickly and easily appear on top of the pigs. So we will get some of these guys, put them up here. So we'll watch the water. Um, obviously, you will want them, let me lower you guys down, you'll want the water to stay, you know, where the stem is, obviously. In about a week, within a week, um, we should have root systems going. So, um, now for what is left with these leaves um, because there was a goat turd they're useless now but um, when they're kept clean you can dry them you can crush them and put them in your tea ferment tea um, things like that so uh, so yeah so we'll show you guys what we've done a lot of the garden is kind of in transplant shock I think um, but yeah the, so these first two rows are the hot peppers so we've got a decent crop of Carolina Reapers and of course, some tomatoes and some squash and um, some plants like that. And I'm looking because I think, oh, no, they're still here. I thought the goats had gotten a hold of some of this stuff, but um, my thought is to try to get some of these guys to go on this perimeter fence. And Shadow said no garden is complete without an American flag. But um, yeah, we got some uh, some onions and you know like I said 
things are looking a little sad right now because I think they are in transplant shock. <laughs>